Simba the lion carried a heavy burden for such a young lion, as he thought he was responsible for the death of his father. His meerkat, warthog, and other animal friends wanted to help Simba laugh again. You must put the past behind you, they all told him. Hakuna Matata. Hakuna Matata means no worries, they told Simba. Soon Simba felt much better as he joined his animal friends. swimming in the river and enjoying nice long days. As long as Simba did not think about his father's death and the painful memory of his uncle Scar, telling Simba that he was responsible for his father's death. Scar had told Simba to run away. Simba felt like he was always running away. One day, while playing, a beautiful lioness chased Simba's friend, the warthog. She wanted to eat him. The warthog was very scared. Simba saved his warthog friend and then realized the lioness was his old best friend from childhood, hey. Nala. Simba had run away from his pride land so long ago. Nala and all the lions and all the other animals missed him very much. And she told them they needed Simba to save them from Scar and the hyenas. They were destroying the Pride Lands. Please come home, asked Nala. You are our only hope. Simba was not yet ready to return. And he sat and talked to Nala all night. And they kissed and had a private embrace. You can't change the past. It's all my fault, said Simba as he walked away from Nala. Close by, a wise baboon called out to Simba. You're Mufasa's son, he reminded Simba. He lives in you, said the old baboon, and he reminded Simba of that. The baboon led Simba to a pool of water and told him to stare hard at his reflection. Suddenly, the clouds parted and the water changed shape, and Simba saw his father, Mufasa, Remember who you are, Mufasa said from the stars. You are my son and the one true king. Simba was afraid of what he knew he must do. The baboon all of a sudden hit Simba with a stick. Why did you do that? It hurt, asked Simba. Doesn't matter, it's in the past, said the baboon as he tried to hit Simba again. Simba ducked, avoiding the hit. See, said the baboon, the past can hurt, but you can either learn from it or run away. Simba understood this lesson and decided to return to his father's land to save it from the hyenas and challenge his uncle Scar. I must fight for this or who will? We will, answered Nala, the warthog, baboon and meerkat. We are with you until the end. They followed Simba to the Pride Lands and fought a big battle with the hyenas. Simba fought his evil Uncle Scar. Scar admitted, I killed your father, Mufasa. When Simba heard this, a great anger surged through him. Anger for the death of his father. Anger for years of guilt. Anger for the destruction of his home, the Pride Lands. With a great roar, Simba flipped his uncle over the rock. Scar was defeated. Simba roared and finally claimed his rightful place as king. Nala was waiting for him and told all the animals that Simba was now king of the land. As news of Simba's return spread across the vast land, all of the animals once again roamed free. The land began to heal, and Simba and Nala ruled as king and queen.
Simba and Nala started their own family and lived happily ever after.